Hey y'all, it's Fines Girl and welcome back to my channel. I have a, a haul I'd like to show you. I went to several different stores and found some nice things. But first I wanna talk about um, something serious and um, I'm not gonna address this again. It's something I'm gonna just talk about once. Um, and that is trolls. Um, I just wanna put it out there if there are any more trolls. Um, I am not going to uh, respond to you. I am not going to give you the satisfaction. And the only thing I want to say to you is when you leave nasty comments, I'm just going to block you and report you. So, bye-bye. Go somewhere else. So, now that we got the nastiness aside, um, I uh, went out of town and I went to several different stores and I found a Tuesday morning and was unhappy to find out that uh, it was going out of business, just like the one in town here went out of business. But I did find a few little things, so I thought I would show them to you. Um, first of all, uh, we had Nova in the car with us because uh, we can't leave her home uh, with the other dogs unattended, and she can't be left unattended anyway because God knows what she would get into. So, um, anyway, I uh, ended up picking up this little uh, doggy toy for her in Tuesday morning. And it was um, $4.49, and then I forget what percentage they were taking off of everything. But um, I thought it was cute. Little chewy bone. It's nice and soft. Pretty soft for her and small. And um, I just thought she would like it. And... Um, I was going to give it to her in the car, but then I ended up not doing that. But she'll get it later. <laughs> and the next thing I found, um, I did find some uh, cute little Jolene uh, stickers. They were normally three twenty nine, dollars and then whatever percentage off. And it's, um, I think they're called, uh, I think it says, it's, Staycation somewhere. I don't remember now. Oh, okay. It's on the house. Duh. <laughs> but I thought those were just really cute. Look at the house. It's a staycation and you got the hammock. And I love the um the girl laying in the tent with her feet out sticking out and she's uh you can just picture her just, you know, bumping her feet back and forth and reading a book and but of course it doesn't address the mosquitoes that would be eating her butt. But hey, anyway, um, I love it. Love a little hammock. And I just thought that was so cute. I wish they'd had more than one pack because I would have gotten them. But that's the only one I found. And they really didn't have hardly anything in the arts and craft department, which was very disappointing. But at least I tried. Oops. I also got um, this. It says Snap Flip Books. Um, four by six snap flip book, say cheese, main street, 10 four by six pocket pages. And it looks like that by simple stories. Um, I've made flip books before. I used to make those long before I uh, started trying to make journals, but, um, I'm not, not really sure what these look like. So I'm going to open it and see see what we've got here. Um, uh, it's totally not what I thought. <laughs> so it's actually like a little photo album. So that's not what I thought it was. But it's kind of cool. I guess I could um, put some pictures from vacation or something in there. My son's graduation or something like that. Anyway, that was pretty cool. Just totally not what I would have expected it to be. Um, and the next thing I got, and actually the last thing I got, they had uh, most of the chipboard stickers and things they had were for baby girls, baby boys, stuff like that. Um, or they were just plain ugly stickers. So um, I did find one that I liked, and that was... Uh, beach party chipboard accents and I thought that one was pretty 
that cute little octopus. So it looks like that. A little crab. He's cute. So I managed to get that. And that was it. I got exactly four things at Tuesday morning. Nope, I'm telling a lie. Um, I got one more thing. I got my husband some, um, um, I think they were German, little German, um, what do you call those things? Sugar wafers. And they were different shapes and different flavors and this big bag. And um, yeah, so I did buy that. But that's all I got, and I was highly disappointed, and I decided that although there is another Tuesday morning there, that, oops, sorry, that, I got y'all cooking now, that I did not want to bother to go there and not find anything when I could go somewhere else. So, <clears throat> um, I also have... A Dollar Tree haul for you. Let's see. I'll show you this first. I found the cutest, um, prettiest. I guess you call them gift bags, and um, but they're made to look like um, pocketbooks or totes. And I just thought this one was beautiful with the butterfly and look the fox stitching around the edges. I guess it kind of actually looks like a maybe a little suitcase, a purse. Um, it looks like that on the side, which is very pretty, but it opens out with the piece in the bottom that you can lay down and it opens up into a nice rectangular bag. It looks like that, but it's got the cool handles. And I just think that one's really pretty. Um, I love the butterflies and flowers and the pink and my mom will probably get something in here. <laughs> um, but I really like that. I love that style. I thought that was really cool. And I ended up picking up another one that has um, flowers on it. And this one, to me, it just reminds me of Florida. It's just so springtime. It's just gorgeous. It's tropical. It's Florida. It's springtime. Um, that looks like a daffodil to me. I think that's a daffodil and, um, daffodils are my favorite. But, um, anyway, I love, love, love that one. I think that out of the two, um, this one is my favorite. And on the side of that one, it's got stripes like the handle. So it looks like that. Actually, I didn't notice, but this one, the side matches that handle. But these are really, really cute bags and they had other styles, but this just happened to me be my two favorites. So you might wanna run pick these, pick these up. They'd be great for Mother's Day, um, a birthday, um, just a surprise for your mom, friend, daughter, grandma, whoever. And the next thing I got there, um, I found this stencil set that I don't recall ever seeing. It may be new, it may not, um, but I've never seen it. And I thought it was really neat, all the different um, patterns. I particularly love the brick one. And I think this would be great in a mixed media project. You could use some um, uh, gel medium, some, um, I can't even think of them, different types of mediums and, um, you know, go over the sections, some gesso, whatever, um, and then paint it or just use paint to go over it, whatever, to make the shape. But these are awesome. And that one has such awesome um, patterns on it. That one is really cool. This looks like a very, very complicated spider web. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, I can't wait to use this one. I think it's really cool. That would be great to use in a um, pocket letter to make a scene on a pocket letter, on an ATC. You could use it in a journal. If you make cards, you could use it on cards. 
lots of things you could use that for. You could even take it, and if you had some of the little wood pieces from um, Dollar Tree, you could take one of these stencils and stencil one of these patterns on the little wood shape, if that's what you like, you know. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. And the next thing I got there was um, for one of my kids in December, not my kids, the Samaritan's Purse kids. And since I'm doing a mini box, I found this magazine, Disney Comics, uh, Minnie and Daisy Spy Power. And I thought that was really cool. So it's really, really neat. Nice colors, got fantastic color. Look at that. Very, very, very vibrant colors. And I used to love comic books when I was a kid. I had a huge collection of them. I even had my mom's comic books from when she was little. And actually, we still have all those comic books. So I bet they're worth some money. So that's the first bag from Dollar Tree. And let's see. Sorry for all that rattling. I know I forget about the bags rattling sometimes. But, um, let's see. My second... Oops, about to drop everything. My second bag, um, I picked up some of these, uh, little, um, barrettes for, um, Nova. I haven't tried the small ones, but she's got little hairs up, um, over her eyebrows. Well, they're not eyebrow hairs per se, but she's got little short hairs across here, across here, and I think I'm going to um, see if I can hold them up with that, so they don't go in, go in her eyes. Um, I found this uh, chapstick total hydration moisture and tint. It's called Pretty in Pink. Looks like that, and I'm crazy about lip products. And the thing is, though, I have to be very careful because half the time I buy something and I can't use it because I have burning mouth syndrome. And with that, um, it makes my lips and the inside of my mouth burn like fire for several days in a row and then it goes away. And that happens periodically. So um, everything's always iffy about whether or not I can use it. And um, I think I'll open this and let's see how it looks. Um, since I've already got lippy on, I'm not going to put it on my lips, but let's see. It smells pretty good. Kind of, kind of smells minty or something. Mm. I don't know. Kind of like a little dot in it. I don't know. I don't know what that is. If that's just the way it's poured. I don't know. Let's just see. I'm going to swatch it. See how it looks. Hmm. It's got a lot of color. Some, but not too much, really. I guess it's how much you press it on. But let's see how it feels. Hmm. Feels like it'd be moisturizing. Yeah. I like that. And if I don't like it, I'll just pass it on to my mom. Because <laughs> she doesn't have burning mouth syndrome. This smells good, though. I'm picky about smells, too. And I uh, usually smell things. 